There's no karaoke tonight, Commissioner. Probably better that way. So, proclamation. Whereas retinoblastoma is a very rare disease that affects children, is the most common eye tumor in children, and now occurs in one out of every 12,000 children. And whereas retinoblastoma is a disease that causes the growth of malignant tumors in the retinal cell layer of the eye. And whereas left untreated, retinoblastoma is almost always fatal. Not good. Therefore, early diagnosis and treatment is crucial in saving lives and preserving visual function. And whereas eye dilation exam examinations performed upon infants at birth, again during the six to eight week well baby exam, and again during the six to nine month well baby exam, are vital to saving the vision and lives of our children. Such infant eye dil dilation exams are very inexpensive, and whereas the City of Lake Worth supports eye pathology screening at birth and at each well baby exam thereafter to assist in the detection of all ocular diseases in newborns, infants, and toddlers. And whereas visions and lives have been saved through awareness. Now therefore, we, commissioners and mayor of the City of Lake Worth, Florida, by virtue of the authority invested in us, do hereby proclaim November as Joey Bergsma Retinoblastoma Awareness Month. Thank you so very much for continuing to understand the vital importance of this. Uh, we still have a long way to go. I just did do with the zoo the first weekend. That goes on through next weekend as well. And a young woman was telling me Sunday afternoon that she couldn't get the doctor to turn the lights out in the room to do the standard of care. And it was because her baby's eyes were blue. So we still have a long, long way to go. But we're, we are moving forward. So I'd just like to take a minute to remind everyone. Uh, I took the picture of Joey's tumor while he was sitting on Santa's lap at the Boynton Mall on Thanksgiving weekend. I did not know that when that flash goes off, we have a 60% chance of photographing an eye disease in a child. Because we're taking so many photos of our children, and that starts now. At Halloween, through the first of the year, we will take more flash photography pictures than any other time of the year, especially of our kids. So always be alert. If the eyes do not reflect red, or they, with very dark eyed children, if they don't look normal, if there's an odd glow in one or bo both eyes, you could have taken a picture of a cataract, uh, a tumor like I did with Joey, uh, glaucoma, optic nerve hypoplasia, Coats disease, refractive disorders, on and on and so forth. Always look at those flash pictures. You never know what you might catch when that flash goes off. It could save sight, it could save eyes, and in Joey's case, of course, we would have saved his life with this particular photo. The red was his retina reflecting the light of the flash. The glow was the tumor blocking the red reflection. So this is what you're looking for. It could be one out of 500 photos. Don't ever ignore it if it shows up. And then, of course, more importantly, is our direct ophthalmoscope. Joey's pediatrician did not use this correctly. It is to be used in a dark room, and it should be used with the same diligence that we are using our stethoscopes and for even more reason. One in four children is visually impaired at school age. One in ten toddlers has a visual problem and one in nine babies in the first year of life is showing a concern for a visual problem. So yes, we need to look at all those well checkups throughout our lifetime, but especially for our children. The room has got to be dark and then they have to take that 15 seconds looking. It's very simple. If that would have happened for Joey at his 15 or his 18 month well baby exam, he'd be 17 with 20-20 vision in his eye. Tragically, I did not know this. I learned it the hard way. 
Now, through Joe's death, we learned about the babies. And this is not enough for the newborns. Their pupils are just too small, and we have to take that extra step to just dilate that little pupil. They're asking for this, just like it said in the proclamation, three times in the first year of life. Within the first two weeks of birth, at six to eight weeks, and again at six to nine months. When is it coming up? I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the nurse just weighed the baby. There we go. And now she's putting the drop in. Actually, this infant could be asleep in the mother's arms. All we have to do is put it in the corner and get the eyelashes wet. Then at the end of the exam, the pediatrician is going to still make the room dark, even though the pupil is dilated. We always want the room dark when we use our ophthalmoscope. It increases your chances of detection. Now he's going to take that good 15 seconds looking at all angles of the back of this little one's eyes. And at this age, in that beginning of life, starting with the first breath, what we're primarily looking for is cataracts. But yes, some babies are born with retinoblastoma tumors. All of these diseases can present at any time. This is why we always have to remember to do that standard of care. And I thank you again so very much. The, this is what we all need to be alert to, but it looks like we might have a bill for Tallahassee this year. We're taking a different approach. Uh, they did not want a mandate. This is what I've been listening to now for 14 years. Yet, if we don't mandate, things don't happen. We mandated the hearing test for these babies. It took over 22 years to get it done. And if we had not legislated the hearing test, they would not be doing that for our newborns. It's the same with the eye exam, this simple little drop added to what they're already supposed to be doing. So I have heard in Tallahassee and, and everywhere across our state that everybody wants to do awareness. I'm the only one doing awareness. I'm waiting for everybody to do awareness. So we're taking a different uh, twist on it. We're going to legislate the awareness. So the bill will be Joey's Information Act. And I'm praying that we find someone in the House to take the companion bill. Senator Renee Garcia and Hialeah will be taking it in the Senate. And it's basically what we just went over but expanded upon and the other clues that parents should be alert to in between exams. Uh, I'm praying that it will open the door to fixing this. Nobody should be arguing. Everybody's, every medical lobbyist up there said they wanted to do awareness. So if we legislate the awareness, the awareness will be done in a different way. Coming from a state level, we will pass this this session. It will be implemented July 1st, and Joey will be 18 on July 5th. And I'm, this will open the door to fixing it. We will eventually fix it. Putting the burden on the parent doesn't fix but the awareness will open the door to fixing it. So uh, we're going to need support from all over the state for this so that we can get it done 2015 session. And thank you so much, City of Lake Worth. You've always been behind this. This was the first proclamation 14 years ago. So I'll be getting another one from our county as well. Thank you. Thank you. I, I just like to say...